Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at another kit, but this is not like any other kit. This is actually a single battery touch screen kit from Joytech. This is actually their 10th anniversary um, limited edition. And yeah, it comes in four colors. You can get it in black, gunmetal. Um, this is supposed to be a pink, but to me it looks more like a coral color um, and rainbow. So yeah, it does go up to 80 watts and it does have this Procore air tank on it. And look at the drip tip. It comes with the honeycomb pretty drip tip. So let's go ahead, let's go down. We'll take a look at it and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So. Okay, so here we are with the Espeon Solo. This is the 10th anniversary limited edition. This is a sample, so it's not for sale. It does take a 21700 battery, but it is not included in my kit. Um, they are supposed to have kits that do include the battery. This one does not. Um, these are their social media sites. It says Joytech, Joytech, and then on the back you've got um, some standard configurations. Um, it's got the mod, it's got the Pro Core Air Atomizer, two Pro CA 0.4 ohm head coils, one spare glass. Um, it's got an 18650 battery sleeve. Um, the battery, of course, is not included, but you can use a 21700 if you have it or an 18650 with the sleeve. And then the USB cable and manuals and things like that. Um, there is your scratch off authenticity. And then you open it up. And I actually have, now they call this the pink. To me, it's more of a salmon color. It's not really pink, but it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. And this is a touch screen device, which we're gonna go through. I'm gonna show you everything that's included in it first. Okay, you get your, um, this is actually your card to tell you like what the best um, wattage is for their certain coils. Um, you do get this warning card. It's just telling you to make sure that you your batteries are in good condition. Then you do get your warranty card. And then of course you've got your manual. And then in addition to that, this is just for the tank. This is for the mod. So as always, Joytech always, always, always provides separate um, uh, manuals for each piece of the devices or the kits. And I think that's really, really great. Then um, in addition to that, you do get an extra 0.4 ohm coil, um, which is the same as the one that's pre-installed. You do get your tank. And this is the tank. It is a 25 millimeter tank. And it's got the 0.4 included with this nice little like honeycomb style drip tip, which we're gonna go over that in a second. You do get a spare glass in this box. Okay, then in the box you get the 18650 battery sleeve. You get some O-rings. You also get a regular black Delrin drip tip. So if you don't like the one that it has, you can actually switch it out to this. And then also your um, USB firmware upgrade cord. I say that because I do not recommend charging any batteries within the mod. Um, it's always recommended to use an external charger. Um, so we're gonna leave this out because we're gonna be using an 18650 battery, which I have right here. So I'll go ahead and put this in here. Okay, put this aside and let's go ahead and go through the tank. Okay, so here is the tank. This is the Procore Air Tank. Um, it is, like I said before, a 25 millimeter in diameter. Um, tank. It does have a slightly protruding um, 510 pin. It does have two airflow slots. They are on a stopper. Whatever you do to one side will happen to the other. Again, it does come with this nice little honeycomb style drip tip. I, I, I love fancy drip tips and this just makes my day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I really, really like this. It is like an 810 style, but because it's got the O-rings on it, it won't fit your aftermarket 810 goon style drip tips. Um, it does say Joytech on this side, and there's an arrow there. If you flip this back, this is where you would fill it, and you just close it up. To change your coil or to take it apart, you just unscrew the bottom. And then if you want to change the glass to the spare glass, all you have to do is just very lightly take that off. I hate taking the glasses off because I always, always break them. But this time I did it. So you would just go ahead and take this off, replace it and put it back on, or you can just take it off to clean it. And then here is the coil. All you do is just unscrew this and it comes right out of the base. Here's the base right here. This is the coil. Um, it is a 
Let's see if you can see it. 40 to 80 watt coil. It is a Pro CA um, 0.4 ohm coil. And yeah, so that's the airflow on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put this in. So you do have two of the same coils. We're gonna go ahead and prime this up because well, of course we have to prime it because it's a new coil. On any new coil, you definitely wanna prime it. And today for today's e-liquid, I'm actually gonna be using this Fetty Pop, oh my goodness, Strawberry Birthday Cake Pop, yum, yum, yum. This is from the conve confection line and this is from e-juice. Um, vapor.com i'll actually link the video to this for my review on it yum 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 so let's go ahead and start priming up the coil it tastes just like a birthday cake pop yummy if you like birthday cake you would love it so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and just wet the wicks in here just to make sure that the cotton gets a little saturated and i always put it on the outside as well this is just to help it wick a little bit faster in my opinion it it helps wick it faster that's why I always do it a little bit more here. I'll go ahead and put that back on. And it's the machining on this is really, really great. I'm telling you right now, I have not heard any scratching or anything. Everything screws in really, really nicely. It's very, very well made. Joytech makes some of the really awesome, awesome products. And I'm happy that I got to do this review for you. And just go ahead and put that in. It is a 4.5 milliliter e-liquid capacity for this tank. They also do sell um, the two mil TPD compliant um, version as well. But yeah, so this is this right here is the 4.5 milliliter. So I'm gonna put this aside so we can go over the mod and let that prime up. Oops, go ahead and put that right there. Put my e-liquid away. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery in. This is, a, well, let me go ahead and go over the mod for you. Here it is gonna say um, Espeon Solo, and then here it says Joytech. Here it's got the 10th anniversary limited edition um, decal on it. This is actually like your um, unlock and lock and um, sort of like a select button, sort of. Here's your USB for firmware upgrade. On the bottom, you do have some battery ventilation and then you've got your battery door here. This does take up to a 25 millimeter um, atomizer, the same as what is included. That is spring-loaded. And then you can just take this off. It's never given me a problem before. There we go. This is the inside of the door. Really, really nice. It is, it, it's very well made. I love the feeling of this mod. Even though it's a little bit small, um, and it's only a single battery. I, it just feels good. So I really, really like that. It's clearly indicated positive and negative, which is always, always a plus. Um, and then you've got this spring loaded, um, contact right there. So we're going to go ahead and put this in positive up, negative down. So we're going to put that in there. And again, it does take 21 the battery seven. in there. Close that door. And then, um, it's five clicks on, five clicks off. So one, two, three, four, five. Now it's off. You can't fire it or anything. One, two, three, four, five. It turns on. It's got the Joytech symbol. And um, here it's showing your wattage. It shows the time. If you've set your clock, it's going to show your um, resistance, your voltage. And then here is for your seconds timer, but you can change that. I'm going to show you how. And um, this is a touch screen, as I mentioned. So all you have to do is first, you do have to unlock it. It will do that every time that you touch it or you try to do anything without pressing this button to unlock it, it won't let you, so you can't accidentally press anything. I really, really like that. And you press the button, it shows that it's unlocked. It's showing you your wattage. You can actually go up and down right here. It does go up and down in increments of one. So from one to 80 watts, because this is an 80 watt device. Okay, and then to go into the mode button, you just hit mode. This is your power, real-time clock. This is your um, temperature control. If you go into your temperature control, you can choose nichrome, uh, titanium, or, um, I'm sorry, nickel, titanium, or stainless steel. I always get those two com confused when I <laughs> see the NI. I think of NI80 or NI90. Um, and then this is your temperature control. If you have it in temperature control, it's going to look like this. It does go from 200 degrees... Um, Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit 
and then it goes from 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. It will automatically lock when you're changing it, so you do have to unlock it, but once it's got those little arrows flashing, that means that you can actually change it. So I can now go ahead and change my temperature. There we go. You have to kind of press on it. I'm like barely touching it and it's not working. So you do have to like, literally you need to press on it. This is one of those that don't be scared to press on it. And then it does round robin um, for you. So once you get down to the 200 watts, it will round robin to Celsius if you keep pressing it. There you go. All right, and then you can go back into here, into your mode, and it also has bypass mode if you want. And I like it, mine and power, of course. You can also, let's unlock this. Okay, also go into settings. This is Okay, so here's where you can set your coil resistance. You can actually set your wattage for your temperature control here. Subpara, you can choose puff timer amps on the front screen. Um, here's your clock. This is where you can actually set it. And then down here we have preheat. So you can go ahead and set your preheat and the amount of time. Timeout is when your screen actually turns off. So you can set that. And then you can press exit or you can scroll backwards. Info is gonna give you your battery information. So if I click on this, it's gonna tell me how many volts my battery is in. It's gonna show my battery indicator. And then the version, this is gonna show you your hardware and firmware versions. And then you can press exit to go back here or you could have swiped as well. You can press exit, it's gonna take you back to the wattage. Okay, you can also set this in stealth mode by just clicking three times quickly. And now it's in stealth mode where you can still fire it but it won't show the display. And you can turn it back on. So five clicks on, five clicks off. Um, really, really easy interface. I really like the looks of this and I love touch screen and this has got like I have to say that I, this is definitely one of the better displays that I've seen. Um, it's so clear, it's bright, it's not dim, it's easy to control. You can go through it easy. I mean, it, there's nothing to not like about this. I like that it comes in the four colors, which is rainbow. This is supposed to be pink, but it's really more of a, like a coral. Um, Gunmetal and black. And, um, yeah, so that's about it. So let's go ahead and take it on top and I'll give you my pros and cons. Okay, so here we are back on top. Let's go ahead and have a vape. Really nice clouds, really nice flavor. I know exactly what this tastes like and it tastes almost identical to the flavor. Um, it's really, really good. I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's the best flavor, but it's a really, really good flavor. It's one of the top notch flavors for me in a sub ohm tank. Um, I love the colors that it comes in. I love the fact that you get the spare glass. I love this drip tip. I wish it was a little bit shorter, but I do like the drip tip. I think that it's really fancy. It matches the mod perfectly. I love that it's, a, look at that display. You can actually see the display so clearly. It's really, really nice. Um, the coils, awesome coils. I mean, awesome, awesome, awesome coils. The flavor is really, really good. Um, single battery, so it's really lightweight. It's very compact, it fits right in your hand. I think that that's a pro. Um, I love, oh, let me show you, I almost forgot. If you unlock it, and then you scroll this way, oops, scroll the wrong way. Let's try the other way, there. This gives you your stats. It's actually gonna give you, um, on this is your battery percentage. Oh, come on. Battery percentage, time, wattage, ohms and your puffs right right there <laughs> it times out kind of quick i i need to ramp up the timeout um i like that you can change your wattage and temperature control that is always always a pro for me um like i showed you down below where that wattage changes that is for your temperature control i like the clock on it because who doesn't like a clock like yeah <laughs> duh <laughs> So yes, yeah, so I really, really like that. The only con that I really have found with this is that the drip tip is a little bit, tiny bit, a little too tall, but I can live with that because it does look good. It vapes very well. I like that it's wide bore. That to me is great. Um, it takes 18650 or 21700 batteries. I think that's awesome, awesome, awesome. 
Um, again, the batteries don't come with it, but you can always purchase those separately. Or if you have an 18650, this battery sleeve works great. I mean, it sits it right in there. It's in there firm. It works great. The magnets on here are awesome. Oops. You see? I have to yank it off. But yeah, the batteries are, are awesome if you put the thing on. Um, yeah, so I, there's really nothing much that I don't like about it. I, I'm trying to find something and I can't. Um, you can get this from vapesourcing.com. Right now they have the full kit for $70. They do have just the mod alone if you just want to get just the mod for $48.99, but it is on pre-order for just the mod, but you can get the kit now. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to check me out on all my social media. The links are down below. I will leave a link to where you can get this. I'll also leave the link where or the end card so that you can see the review on this. Really, really good. If you like cakes, you're going to like this, especially a birthday cake. So yeah, so I guess I'll see you in the next one.